Ladies and gentlemen, Total War here with part two of my Rome Total War Let's Play campaign as Numidia. Alright, so previously we set out to get some conquest done. We conquered Thebes, Carthage, and Thapsus. So, just trying to remember where we left off. Um, so yeah, we tried to go over to Memphis to attack it, but they've just got way more troops than us, so it's not so easy. Um, what do I need here? So what we'll do is we'll just keep recruiting small troops here, let them keep attacking. I don't want to build walls here, and uh, when they're thinned out a little bit, we'll attack them. Now, I've got a market building here, which will build us some spies, so I can actually see what's going on over here. Because at the moment, it's all just, I have no idea what's going on. And we need we need visibility in order to, to maneuver around them. You can't just hope for blind luck. Blind luck is the thing that stupid people rely on. Alright, so what we want, more archers, because they certainly help us out in this area. Nothing else needs retraining there. Over here, let's, um, let's send the cavalry to go and attack him. This night we will feast and drink to celebrate victory. I promise you that. Okay. Because we can't leave this guy off. Oh, I gotta turn off the um the timer. There he is. Can't leave this guy in the area. It's gonna be hunt down. And these these cavalry will catch up with the main force because the main force is gonna go down to. Well, I should. These guys are the main force, but I should say the infantry are gonna go down to Lepsis Magna to besiege it. Kick the Carthaginians out of here. Out of Africa entirely. Okay. You come over here, I might need your help. They might actually run away. Because they haven't run away once yet. And, um, the bounce power looks hopeless for them. I mean, unless I charge in on them. I don't know if that's a good idea, though, because, you know, it's a skirmish at Cavill. And he's not exactly the best general. Focus on shooting the round shield cavalry, because if we kill General's bodyguard, then... Get, get out, get out, get out. Oh, good. Because, yeah, what I was going to say is if, um... If we kill General's bodyguard, he's just going to heal if we don't catch up to him again this turn. We killed a few of those round shield. So these guys here, don't let them get away. Uh, they're so close to the red line because they, they didn't fully corner camp, they're like semi-corner camped. Obviously, it's a hill camped, but it's fine. I don't want to charge in on them because all these javelins flying, you're probably going to shoot one of my own troops. Victory. 172 kills, no losses. So at least that's done. Victory is ours, mighty one! Mighty general! So. Mighty general! Engage the enemy! Oh, he's right there. Um, let me just see. If you could get in here. Now, can we attack him? No. Sire, prepare for battle. Mighty general. Hmm, I have an idea. I want you to come to here. Hmm, hang on. Get to here. Onward. Recruit this guy, because he'll have full movement. I want you to stand right there and send him to attack. The fuck? Oh, it didn't work. That's weird. I haven't seen that happen before. Oh well. Okay, we've got archers over here. We're gonna get them down this way as well. And of course we need peasants here to maintain public order. Financially we're still we're still in the shit. 
Uh, we may only make a little bit of money. I like to make so much money that I can't spend it all every turn. But uh, we're not at that stage yet. Yep, let's build that. Lower the taxes as well because it's a bit, a bit iffy. Build that. Well, he's not going anywhere at least. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Right. Um, I don't know why they'd bother making this attack. We're going to crush him. Today is a day for brave deeds. Alright, so we just do the same thing as we did the last time we were defending the settlement. Don't have the cavalry stand. There's just not enough room inside the settlement, and then oops. Put these guys here. You stand there. And we've got way more archers now, so I'm sure that they're going to do They're just not gonna let as many people come through here. This choke point's gonna be delicious. Now you need to leave the area because you being inside the town square is just going to hinder my archers. So you stay away from this for the time being. And just come stand over there. Oh shit, I gotta take them off skirmish mode. I'll put them on guard mode. Just because I don't want them moving around anywhere. No, no, you guys shouldn't shoot. You got such limited ammunition. That's just the thing is, even if they come into combat here, you guys will do alright. the javelins use it against the uh, chariots because that's those are the real danger here come on shoot the fucking chariots they're right in front of you I'm gonna let them run rampant, are you? Okay. I didn't want to have to select them because they were right in front of them. They should have done it themselves. That being said, all the casualties we take. Actually, it's not a good idea to take loads of casualties because this settlement has limited manpower. Okay, at least the chariots broke. They did quite a lot of damage to us, though. There's still the, the ch uh, chariot general to go as well. Maybe the archers are just a little bit too distracted shooting at um, other things. If we're looking at this, we're, we're definitely winning. It's just, I feel like they could have done better. They should prioritize a little bit better.
So, so it's the same damn Egyptian chariots are back here again, causing all kinds of poor shit. So get rid of them. But also this time their spirits left by the general. Right, I might actually have to bring them in. And our guy. Now they're not gonna beat us. They've lost too many troops already, but they're just they're just doing a lot of damage is all. Do you really think the peasants would have done a hold up to this? Come on, kill him. You gotta make sure you kill him. Got him? Good. So let me get this. We've only lost 10% of our forces, so... It's still a good victory for us. And it's all retrainable in one turn. It's just a matter of, you know, it does cost us some manpower. Then again, if he's sitting in the settlement and we enslave a different settlement, it'll increase the manpower here. So their army's completely wiped out. 1300 men dead. Indicates to me we need more archers. So you will chase them down. You, don't worry about them. Get down over here. Same with you. And the archers, we'll see if they can make it over here to the siege. Okay, so yeah, we'll definitely need more archers. It could be another turn or two before they attack, so we get time to re replenish. Um, financially, still not very good. This will help a little bit, but there's there's hardly any population in there, so not much to gain from it all. Well, let's kill you. Engage the enemy. All right, let's just double, just double checking exactly what we got. Oops. Today is a good day for death. If we are to die, then let us do so honorably, and let us and do so honorably. Nope, we're gonna shoot him. Tell you what we should do. We should go around their back here, take the high ground from them. So you just hang out over here. We get these guys to come around the back, surround them, so we can shoot it at their back. He's in wedge formation there. No escape from this time. Shit, shit. Oh, hang on. Oh, he really could have had us there. There's some minor losses. This could be a problem that we're at the red line here. Come on. Yeah, maybe this was a mistake, because normally surrounding them is a good idea, but with the red line right there. See, I was clicking outside the red line so it, it wasn't um, it was registering. That being said, minimal damage.
Oh, he's going for my general. What a motherfucker. But he should be fairly tired. Oh, no, he's not. What are my guys doing? They're just so slow. Because they're constantly giving orders. Alright. Every time you give them an order, they like stop and think about it for a moment. It's okay. Him chasing us around is going to make him tired. So we've lost so far. 3%, that's nothing. Sort of lure him around, just running around by skirmishes. Yeah, he's desperate to fucking kill my general. Actually, used up a lot of my ammo. Well, this is kind of silly. It's as if they're in a horse race. Alright, I've had enough of this. Oh, no, no, not you. Not you, because if you die... Damn it, he's being a real nuisance. Okay, you got the high ground there, let's do it. I'm sure we can make him break. Because we hit him from the rear as well. The enemy king flees! Probably back to his palaces and prostitutes. Come on, you stupid Numidian cat, you've got to catch him. And these guys over here as well. Charge at him. Because he should be quite tired now. Alright, we got him. Good. As for them, just charge at him. Do I think that really went as well as it could have? But it still went pretty well. I mean, the kill ratio is going to be pretty massive. The enemy flee! Chase them from the field and give them no rest or pity! Victory! Yeah, that's a good kill ratio. Considering we killed the, their faction leader. Glorious victory! Mighty general! March! Merging armies! Moves good stuff. Alright, now. Okay, so I need to retrain these troops over here. Hopefully we can get some more experience out of them. Orders. Good. Orders. Excellent, loads of experience there. Sire. And with the small amount of money that we have left, what can we build? Roads. Alright then, moving on. So, it looks like they brought some reinforcements over here. It's not going to save them. Mighty General! Mighty General! Mighty Bring the cavalry over there first. Orders. Just because I like things organized a certain way. Engage the enemy! Besieging settlement, sir! Settlement under siege, sir! Sire! March! Joining... Now, can you make it here? Yep. Prepare for battle! Settlement under siege, sir! Ships ready! Yes, mighty lord. Leaving the army. Disembark. Mighty general. Move out. Good, so we're the largest faction now. We didn't capture any settlements recently. So whoever was previously the largest must have lost some regions. Which I'm assuming would be Egypt, I think. Egypt also all the Seleucids start off the largest. So we're in good strength here again, but we're not perfect. So we've got six archers here. 
now I want more of these. How are we going for troops? Uh, population here. Let's still use a few more people here. What I think is weird, these guys here have um, good morale. I always thought that the desert infantry is the same as eastern infantry, but no, the desert infantry are a lot better. Like the equivalent of like, auxilia. It's not fantastic. I prefer legionaries. But morale is important when it comes to like fixing force. You don't want them to break straight away. It makes them useless. Especially against cavalry. They need to have good morale. Okay, I got two generals over here. Let's let's bring them up this way. Now, I know there's rebels there. What I want to do is get you and just Put you over here, build a watchtower, because I need to be able to see what's going on. I've got no more money, so there's not much I can do. Anyway, we'll be taking Lepsis Magna soon, so moving on. Yeah, I don't see any reason why we need to let them stay here. Um, what I want to do is attack, th hang on, let me see, attack this and then I want to get back on the boats. Oh, fuck it. Get rid of this. Back on the boats and sail up to, um, Lilibium. Take a diplomat up here as well when we go. I might need a boat. So that we can get like a trade agreement or something for with with the Skippy Eye, and just make a little bit of money off that deal, which I can use to reinvest into some Mighty settlements. General, my liege. Prepare for battle. All right, we got this. Let's go kill them. Now is the time for battle. Pull on your armor, grasp your shield, and take up the blade. For our enemies, the sun has risen for the last time. And at the last, brave and noble soldiers, I say this. Fight with the courage our people expect. Fight like men. Right, let's do this. None of their crappy speeches. Okay, um, just put all of the the ramps up front there. Come up here. And let's get started shooting them. Now, I want three of these guys to start knocking down walls. Now, how about we send some of these guys over here as well to just shoot off some javelins right off the bat. This is going to be a lot easier than Thapsis because the wall is, is uh, not so tall. So there's a lot of really trashy units in here. Just need to be mindful of that. Okay, so these three here have them move back. And bring these three in. Put them to the wrong ones, but it doesn't matter. Your soldiers and the battling ram are at the gates. Your soldiers and the battling ram are at the walls. Now comes the test of their courage. Crush them there. Your soldiers have broken so what are we up to now? now order them Forty three percent of the them. enemy. Your soldiers are through the enemy walls. Show no mercy. Order them to finish the defenders. 
Okay, so these three have run out of ammo. Move them back. Okay, I've got an idea. What I want to do, bring in the generals over to here. And I just want to try and lure these guys up here. So we can continue shooting them. There we go, they're taking the bait. No pathway through here, they have to go around. Majority of our troops in this faction is um, our what's it called skirmishers. So this is this is the kind of tactics we can use. You can't be like hire all javelin men and then just go into melee with them. That's stupid. Or even just the you know the desert infantry, the spam desert infantry. It's not it's not a good way to fight. They're just not good enough. Okay, just stay there. How many are left? Thirty percent of them. Okay, against round shield cavalry. thinking what to do. Let's get our slingers over here. What I'd like to do is try to lure them out in the open here, away from the town square, to fight us. Getting a little bit closer there. When does cavalry come? Oh, they're right there. Okay, start. Should just get one volley off on them. And get back. There you go. Got them out of there before. Before they, um, before they caught up. Okay, stop. They're coming back. Both of our generals are right there. Still, so they're just round shield cavalry. They're not likely going to kill them. Here, maybe over this side, and you stand over here. Because what we do now that we kill the general, oh, motherfucker, don't. Pathfinding in Rome Total War can be very irritating. Like they didn't do anything. Okay, so the plan here now is to shoot them, have them chase us, and then once they're at the town square, pincer them. So that they break. There we go. Good. Victory lies in your lost twelve men. Apparently, well, that's how many they killed. I may have lost a few more from friendly fire, which happens. Enslave the Zilvitz choice here. Good. Now we don't have a fragmented empire. We can walk across our empire all across from West Africa to East Africa. Alright, so we want to go back up this way. Hopefully, we don't get sunk. Oh, no, we wouldn't because that ship's. Yeah, that's no, okay. Alright, so let's. What are we going to leave behind? Just a unit of peasants? Oh, there's no troops here. No people. Um, and what we do is. Grab these. Oh, come on. Grab these here. Bring them in and then just disband them. And then they can just be re recruited straight from here. Wait, what? Oh, fuck me, I've got no money. Alright, we'll cancel that then. But now I've got no money for these. Well, it looks like we're going to have to hold off on that boat, because this is more important. Or 
Okay then, send... I'm sure the public order will be fine just with one guy there. Send them on the... Boat. I can exploit move them straight to here. Uh, who cares, I'm just having fun. Oh fuck, I should have put him on the boat as well. Oh well. Okay, so this market is done here. Let's build a spy. Because I need to be able to see what's going on here. And we got no money for troops. Can't move on Memphis until I can see what's going on. So financially, how has that helped us out? Yeah, a little bit, because Lepsis Magna makes... Uh, about a thousand a turn, minus, so it makes about 700 a turn, so it certainly adds up. Alright, moving on. Oh, fuck me. I know they just built that spy. Well, he should still be there. Oh, there's, there's no chance. There's no point fighting this. See, if a spy had been done a turn earlier, I could have, I could have seen that coming and maybe hired a unit to go and deal with them. That being said, Siwa is not a huge priority. So, if they want to hold on to it for a time being, we'll take it back off them later. I'm much more interested in taking Memphis. What's the chances we can actually make it? Okay, we can get to here. We can't see what else is on the way. Let's go slowly. I press backspace if anything gets in the way. No, we're good. Okay, the area is blocked. Okay, so we get him. Orders. Orders. Oh, this might need to be a cavalry attack. Um, six. Merge all these. Might need to do a draw out. And then attack. Three loads of cavalry. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. And. Ah, oh, shit. It's just. Um, like, we can beat this. That's not the problem. It's just. Killing all of them, that's going to be tough. We should focus on them first, and then these. Because if it's loads of infantry, you know, when the infantry wraps, you can easily run them down. Cavalry's not so easy, and the cavalry do run quite easily. You know, they'll, they'll run at like 15% casualties. Even now, fear works its magic into our okay, enemy reinforcements will be coming from... Probably from that angle there. From, from this angle here, because that's where I see them. So we need to surround the enemy cavalry straight away. The enemy have brought up more men. Send them to the afterlife. No, I'm sorry, I had it the wrong way around. The the enemy troops that we're the ones we're main ones we're engaging are the um, other cavalry, the reinforcements have the uh, the generals in them. Now for these here, I don't think we need to use uh, use um, use our javelins. We should stay over here. We should focus on surrounding them. Surround them, they'll probably break anyway. So we don't need to waste javelins. We need javelins for the general's bodyguards. So start closing this circle here. Get in there. Yeah, 
whole sandwich, motherfucker. Take this. Got him. 100% of them dead. Okay, I guess to some extent that's the easy part done. So now, now we do use our javelins to try and thin out the uh, the general's bodyguard. Save the enemy infantry to la for last. We need to move around their backs so they don't escape. A little bit winded, so just let them have a rest. do a load, lot of kills, but like I said, anything's better than nothing. They have no skirmishing capabilities, so they make sure we cut them off. Another th problem is that the, um, the balance of power is heavily in our favor at the moment. Okay, they're, they're going to charge at us. Some of you over here. Need a couple of you there. Shit, these guys are in the way. If I send my guy in there right now. Oh shit. We need to go. Come on, hurry up, get over here. Don't worry about them. Oh, he's getting killed. It's okay if he does die. I just don't want him to. Okay, one general's course. Oh, broken. And they're both broken. Good. Just don't let him get out of there. Motherfuckers get out of there. Victory is sweet indeed. I think yeah, one of the fuckers got out. Oh, geez. Which means we don't take the settlements, but we've crushed their army at the very least. So we just need to um besiege the settlement and continue it from there. Yeah, we didn't really beat him. It's alright. Oh, fuck, I can't. I great Lord. can't do it. Orders. I great Lord. Um, where's my other army? Ships ready. Yes, mighty Lord. Oh my god. Did... My troops, I think, are standing on the settlement. They disappeared entirely. Lord. All of those... They glitched out. Completely disappeared. I've never seen this bug before. That's fucked. Engage the enemy. We can't do that, sire. Hang on, let me just see if I can yes, access them. Out of moves, sire. From here. He'd be a captain. Is that one there? My lead. Yeah, they, they actually killed off my army because it was... It... Wow. My lead. That is fucked. 
They glitched out my army. Well, fuck. I haven't seen that happen before. Talk about buggy game. Holy shit. Well, we're going to need a new army then. I mean, most of it was just javelin men anyway, but that's still quite irritating. I'm not really a big fan of Median Cavalry. Uh, replace what was lost with um, Long Shield Cavalry. Man, that was fucked. It just disappeared. Because they were standing right there. It's a good thing I got them off the boat because if they didn't do it. Okay, note to self. Um, if you. If you, um, so this is like, this is one of those exploits that's actually a negative exploit, it's actually a bug. If you attack something from the fog of war that's right on the coast, and they can't actually land on that spot, they'll be despawned. My eyes are yours. Fuck me. Oh well. Yeah, that really stings. That's so bad that I'm wondering about, like, just... I feel like I should just load the autosave. But it's fine, you know. How many times have exploits been in my favor? Now there's one that's not in my favor. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Oh, well. We'll still, we'll still be fine. Like, the, the, the units that were left on the boat, there was no generals on there. It was a few archers. Uh, I think there was a mercenary unit. Oh, yeah, I need archers. I get archers from here, no. That really stings. Like, they're just... The army is just not present anymore. It's just... It's completely gone. It doesn't exist anymore. Like another boat from here. But at the same time, you know, it's reduced upkeep cost, so I'll just... As you said, the army moved over there, the rebels. At least we know exactly where they are now. Um, and we'll make more money over the next few turns because of it. That's fucked. And we didn't even succeed with the draw out. It would have been nice if the army had respawned, but no, it, it despawned. I'm gonna need some infantry, or else we can't actually make the attack on it. So it looks like these motherfuckers here, they want to, um, they want to attack. Alright, just, um, just kill them. Three units, let's see what they've got. Yeah, we can do this. Piece of shit thinks that they can land on our coast and we're not going to stop them. Uh, keep the peasants out of this. Okay, what I want to do is send my cavalry to go get rid of their um, their cavalry straight away, and then use our archers to try and thin out their uh, infantry. It's only hostility, so I. Not anticipating a huge amount of resistance. Yeah, what a bug. That's gonna. I'll, I'll know never to do that again, obviously. But I've, I've. You know, that was a complete accident. I wasn't trying to exploit the game when I did it. I just wanted, I thought I could besiege the settlement. You might need to charge into them because. There you go. Okay. Um. Don't worry about the. Oh, hang on. The cavalry's coming straight for us. Run and they stalled. Okay, 
Roman troops are so much better than everyone else's. Okay, we should be able to beat our creatures. I just wanted to bring them out of the out of the uh, woods. Yeah, just oh good, we're both choosing to pull out of that fight at the same time. Back. It's not going that well. Sixty versus thirty. What I might do is throw my peasants in there, just to soak up the charge. For them to fight the peasants, we've got them in the rear. The general shows his value. He is filled only by desire. The enemy general Good. has been killed. Now we will see the measure of his soldiers' courage. Okay, he might come back. I need to use both of my cavalry together. The problem is that they're separated right now. Alright, if we charge into these fuckers here, they're they better be getting tired. Like if we don't lose any generals, all the casualties that we've suffered so far can be restored very easily. Good. Certainly helps that we kill the enemy general. Yeah, and we should be able to get 85% as well. Oh, the enemy cavalry is on its way back. I think. Where is it? Oh, maybe not. Did we kill 85%? Yep. Good. So that's protected our shores for the time being. Don't know what they were thinking invading with such a small force. Now my navy can't deal with that. Ships ready. You're gonna have to go back over here, which means these guys here, if they lose a battle, they're dead. But that being said, this should be fine. I might need to... I've got no money. I've got no money at all. I do wonder if the if the army upkeep... Like, I'm still paying upkeep for those units, even though they've despawned. Because, like, my, my income hasn't gone down. Or up. seem a lot weaker now. Maybe because I'm paying for all those troops. I don't know. Anyway, we'll take this next turn and um, that'll certainly give us a lot of cash. Alright, let's move on. They're gonna attack you, good. So, what's the, the guy's name is Alexander Alexander. That's a fuck name. But, um. It's all just trash. Apart from, of course, the general's bodyguard, which would be chariots. I don't stand a chance. But this is good because this, this kind of army would take them a long time to replace, just because you can only recruit one unit a turn. It might give us the chance to now make our way towards uh, Memphis. Like, who cares about Siwa? Leaving Siwa defended wasn't worth it because it wasn't making any money. If it doesn't make any money, it doesn't increase our power, so fuck it. I'll go back over to Siwa once, um... Once Egypt and Alexandria has been taken. 
Or maybe not even then. Because like I said, it's a shit settlement. And you two, just stay back over here, because you're probably not going to be needed. I'll bring you in if the, if the chariots get... What, why don't I put you in here? Yeah, because this is tight. Stay in there. Good. Then you guys get the fuck out of it. Where's the peasants? Oh, the peasants are there. You walk out this way. And we just do the same strategy as before because it works really well. Okay, I think you need to be a bit further out here. Otherwise they um they might actually send some troops over here while we're watching what's going on here. Once again, I need to make sure these guys don't shoot at the start. We've already killed nearly 10% of them. The archers do such a good job in the defense of the city. Okay, we come to the slingers, shoot them. I'll just, I'll just leave them on fire at will. We don't want these um, these Nubian spears getting too close, so we need to put them under constant, mis uh, constant missile pressure. I should have put them on guard mode. What a bloodbath. Which is of course is absolutely fine by me. Come on, I told you to get over here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. Stand, just stand in your position there. Still got plenty of ammo with the archers, but the javelin men, they're out. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send one of them on flaming shot. Not because it will do more damage, but because it will uh, possibly break these fuckers. Stop them from getting close. Flaming shot doesn't do more damage. I've done mo so many tests with flaming shot. The only thing it's good for is to reduce enemy morale. That's it.
Well, most of their army has run away, but they'll, they're, they're going to be coming back in admittedly. Alright, we don't need this anymore. And here come the Egyptian Chariot General Unit. Let's speed this up, William. Plenty of ammo, we're good. And these guys here took some damage. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. It, they can all be retrained. Except for you, you can't be. So I've only lost 3%. We actually, last time when they sent fewer troops, they did better against us. But then again, they sent a lot more chariots. Those are the things that did all the damage. The infantry does nothing. Thing. This general is the perfect enemy. Good thing they're cheap troops. Stand, but runs away. Is there any point in killing him? Of course, there's a point in killing him. His name's Alexander Alexander. If that's not a reason to kill someone, I don't know what is. might come back. I don't know. Listen, if he, if he, yeah, okay, good, he's coming back. Because if he doesn't come back, then how are we going to kill him? Cavalry is not good to deal with uh, chariots, especially the general's bodyguard. Too, too high a chance of getting them killed. He's not coming back this time, but I'm sure he's tired, so we might just get a catch him with my general. No, nah, there's no chance. He's, he's too far away. Still, we absolutely wrecked their army. But we didn't we unfortunately didn't kill them all. Oh, whatever. Oh, hang on. There's a um, couple of troops over here. Might as well run them down. Just to make sure that you know they don't take them back and retrain them. Alright, that's good enough. Absolutely broke, despite the fact that I lost half my army over here. I'm paying for units that no longer exist. I'm gonna try something. Okay, 6275. If I do this, quick save, and then quick load, it might just re-add all of the all of the troops upkeep costs. <laughs> See? They, I was still paying for those fucking units. More than a thousand in upkeep. I should have done that in the previous turn. But like I said, I, I didn't know that that's... That, you know, essentially... The game still thought that those units existed. 
So that's that's annoying. I don't have enough, I could have had enough money to pay for them. Um, I think with a battle like this, we're probably better off auto resolving it because I don't know. That's what I feel like. So they got a lot of kills, but I should be able to restore them all from here. Okay, I want to enslave them because I want to distribute this, that population elsewhere. Actually, I think now might actually be a good time to change the capital. So we look at financially to, to Carthage. No, I don't think that, that worked out well. So going back to here. Yeah, we make more money from here, being the capital. Now, we're still at war with the Scipio, of course, with half of our goddamn army. Good, they can be retrained from here. That's why I was just like, just order resolve it, because the, the amount of casualties we take took almost didn't even matter. Um, the only thing is, though... Hey, what have I got over here? I want to bring these guys over there. They need to be retrained. These need to be retrained. And I need more of them. And so do these. They need to all be retrained. Just wait till the end of the turn, though. I suppose next turn we're going to have a hell of a lot more money come through, so... Here, let me just see what I can do here. Good. With, with all these battles, it's making my archers a lot better. Can't afford that. It's going to be expensive to retrain all these. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have auto resolved it because it costs too much money. But like I said, next turn we'll have more money because there was about two thousand worth of expenditure that that still existed. Okay, moving on. Yeah, right. Fuck off. You don't stand a chance against me. We'll get the Egyptians. I'm just waiting on my army to build up. Good. With, um, with another general here, that'll help us out. Here, it's a very large army. I want that army to come down here and try and fight us. Let's see if they've got any other troops out this way. How, how big is their overall forces? With what we've got here, I could probably beat them. Alright, let's do this. Especially because now we've got two generals here. Let's just take everyone and leave him behind. Just uh, recruit some peasants to, to maintain, to lower the po uh, sorry population and increase public order. Okay, now that um, now that we're not leaving the army here, building a wooden defense here would probably help. Now we also need ah oh, those motherfuckers. All right, just stand there, see if he attacks us over the bridge. Actually, I'll tell you what we'll do. See, I can't, I can't get to Memphis because he's standing there. If we would attack him, yeah, it doesn't work. Not enough movement. Send him in for reinforcements because I could use more troops to... I've got plenty of missile units, what I'm trying to say. Okay, and um, it's good that we've got this much money now. We can. This is much more workable. Can't get rid of that, sh uh, that fleet. Awaiting your command. I, great lord... Your obedient servant, boarding ship. So now we have to deal with the Skippy Eye out here. Alright, got two archers. It, sh it sucks because I had two archers on the boat as well. Just completely lost. So I'll. I think six archers is a good number. Yeah. 
I do that because I want to have high taxes here, because this is a safe region. Like like I said before, there's absolutely no point in me coming over there. It's just not a rich te te uh, settlement. I really don't care if this takes forever to um, to grow. I just need the money right now, because I need troops so I can go and conquer Rome. So it's a large city. Once we take this, that's going to sort out all of our financial needs. Okay, with the last of our money, let's retrain these guys. Good, spreading the experience around. We'll make them better in, in a fight and also, you know, shoot better. Yeah, could use some fixing force. We're not going to be able to get um, legionaries for a little while. Moving on. Good. They're doing exactly what I wanted them to do. Because river crossings are the AI's Achilles heel, apart from just any tactics in general. Okay, what other areas can they cross from, or is this it? So we need to survey the area, make sure we're aware of our surroundings. No, there's only one crossing over this river, right here. And with this number of archers, there's no way they're getting across. Okay, should be able to put my units right up there. So these guys here will stand close to the bridge, make sure they don't get across. As for the javelin men, I don't think they're going to be that useful. You need to stay back. You need to be close by to make sure that their morale doesn't break. Make sure all the missile units do not use skirmish mode. Okay, javelin men, you can stand right here. And archers behind them. Okay, move a little bit closer over here. Let's hope that when they retreat, they retreat back across this way. It's hilarious when that happens, watching them get slaughtered. Get closer over here. Are we actually able to outrange them? That's interesting. Okay, let's get in closer here. They're shooting in my general, but I don't think they're going to be able to do much, so I wouldn't worry too much about them. Anyway, they're getting shot to shit. Because we're set up, we just need to wait for them to get set up now. And they want me to be their protectorate. The only battle they've won against me is when they went and fought peasants at Siwa. Oh wait, and they, they thwarted me at um, Memphis, of course. But not this time. This time I'm being a bit more careful. They run back across the other way. But still, they're just getting absolutely slaughtered. The general's actually taking quite a bit of a beating from those, those archers. I think, has he looked. Maybe not. I want you to keep shooting them.
today. The enemy general has been killed and his men lose heart. Time to pre uh, press the attack. Gotta make sure we run them down. Oh, what a slaughter! The enemy flee. Chase them from the field and give them no rest or pity. But you know, as if 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 everyone that plays Rome Total War in a situation like that would have gotten the exact same result. So it's nothing special. Uh, they put more troops in Memphis. Sure, why not? Where does he go? Over here? Okay. Okay, now the thing is... There's a lot of units in there, and our army is not particularly good at assaulting settlements. If we can draw them out, that would be better. Maybe if I go to Alexandria first. There's plague in Alexandria, though. No plague here. There's always a chance that these guys are going to attack us. They'll cross over here and, and try to stop us. Yeah, I reckon I can handle this. Alright, let's, uh, let's attack. Ah, also, I've got more troops here. That'll help. And, uh, recruit another one. So now we get a revenge for Siwa at Memphis. Which was their revenge for, um, Thebes, but... Whatever, fuck them. Okay, so... Let's grab them. Mm, I don't want to dick around anymore. I just want to get over there and start killing the Skippy Eye. Okay, let's bring... Let's bring this over. Oh look, this the spy. It's well, this t this time the spy doesn't didn't get despawned. Um, okay, so we can see what they've got here. That's pretty strong. I better get my troops over here. He can't get there in a single turn. Better get over there soon. Okay, what, what do we recruit, uh, recruit there? Yeah, get another one of those. That's good. And what else are we going to build? Okay, I have to reduce the taxes here. Probably going to need more more peasants to maintain public order. So just keep the taxes up. Actually, go ahead and build a port. That'll help with trade. Okay, never out of money. Okay, 318, I can't do anything with that. And that's fine, let's move on to the next turn. Good, I'm glad I did this, because I didn't want to assault the settlement. I'd much rather fight them on the field. So, what are we up against here? Okay, it's the only one we have to worry about are the guys that are inside the settlement. And they're going to be coming from our rear. So we should focus on them first. Make sure we wipe them out utterly. So let's go here, Egyptian Chariot General. So we'll need to surround them. Right. Because it doesn't matter if we wipe them out or not. Alright, let's do this. Need to give them some time to come out and fight us. 
It would be best, I think, if our archers shot the crap out of that, um, that Egyptian chariot general. So they're going to come from the rear. There's Memphis here. There's the road. I'll put them out in front. Let's see how we go. You guys need to be ready to um, to close in on them if they run away. Enemy reinforcements have arrived in battle. Okay, just back off a little bit. I don't want them like trying to shoot you if we're not shooting them as well. Yeah, I thought they might try this. So we're pincered here. I think it's the bulk of their, their actual balance of power is over here. So what's this? Skirmishes. I don't need to turn my, my units around to, to shoot. They've got 360 vision of, sh of fire. Okay, I'm gonna charge at these skirmishes here, because I don't want to fight them, obviously. You guys, come around over here. Let's just about desert infantry do a good job here. Enemy general shows his value. Oh shit! Get out of it. Desire to save his own skin. Ah, but the problem is I need to be shooting these fuckers. As enemies, these men are perfect. That's just that army there. I don't care about them. I care about this one here that we killed. I'd stay away from them until we get them. Get in over here. I need your help. It's tricky dealing with all these goddamn chariots and the fact that we were pincered. I should have put them on guard mode. Okay, I need them to be shooting at the, the general here. Now you go over the. I don't know. Gotta watch out after the chariot. Now you guys, get over here. Okay, you gotta shoot him. Okay, I'm just gonna send them in to fight. Just you gotta make sure you kill the, the enemy general. Already we let how many of them get away? 80, that's not good. I think they had about 800 men, so I can't stop letting them get away. Did we get him? No, they didn't get away. He hasn't been killed yet. Okay, we got him. Okay, good. Oh, what a shit store. That was difficult because we'll pin from two sides. If if these guys had been with the main force, we would have really struggled to win that. Those chariots are a fucking nuisance. But now the, the rest of their army is nothing. This is easy. The big problem with that was that they did have uh, cavalry superiority. But uh, we just had to keep our cool, which we did, and we beat them. I'm just not certain if we've we've taken Memphis. But that being said, their general's dead. Most of their troops are dead. The only thing that got away was like skirmishes, so we should be able to um, 
Should be able to assault it relatively easy, or even just auto resolve it. You guys come around over here. What are these? Skirmishes? Yeah, we're good. Archers are gonna tear them apart. So Niall's Spearmen are a little bit more armoured, I think, than Nubians, actually. Let me just double check that. So Niall's Spearmen have armour 3, shield 5, and Nubians, 0 armour, 5 shield. So it's extra 3 armour, which isn't huge. Shield is, protects better against um, missiles, unless you're shooting them in the back. Gotta make him break. I don't want to charge my cavalry into them. Alright, now it's in the win. Taking a lot of damage, getting back. Get back. I don't know why they rat when I'm telling them to, you know, withdraw, but uh, it's fine. Good, they turned around here. So we don't have to wipe out this army, but it would certainly help us if we did. Reduce their ability to counterattack us afterwards. By the gods, the enemy general was a fool. He sacrificed himself rather than leading his men to a dignified defeat. Only a handful of men left. We're all good now. Eighty-seven percent, and we pretty much wiped out this force. So I don't think we killed the, the army that was um, that was reinforcing from the the city. I guess we'll find out. Let's have a look. Victory lies in your grasp, and there is nothing the enemy can do but. Drive. No, we did. This guy here, he's got the most men remaining. We we've taken Memphis because we had left about eleven percent of them. Yep, there we go. Well, that is going to solve all of our financial problems. And they thought they could make me their protectorate. So alliance was formed between between Carthage and Julio, really? Oh no, no no, they're at war. Oh hang on, no, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, no, they're allies. Okay. 
So we still got to prepare our, our army to deal with the Julii, uh, the Scipii, because um, obviously half of our army died. If we had that half our army, um, I should be able to handle that. But um, it's not a big deal. At least you know I'm aware of that from now on. If I ever see myself in that situation again, fucking five thousand hours on whatever on Rome Total War, and I've never seen that happen. I've never seen an army dis despawn like that. So it's very unlikely to happen again. Okay, so Memphis here. Oh god, this settlement shit. There's no, I can't retrain any of the cavalry. But we can start getting Numidian legionaries from here. I mean, I could just get my cavalry from here, I suppose. I get the infantry from there. I'll need to send them down there for retraining. So push these guys out of the way. Prepare for battle. Glorious victory. Orders. There's just a small army there. So I don't want to take this until the plague is gone. My liege. Prepare for battle. Victory is ours. Push them out of the way. Okay, because the cavalry need. Hang on, I need to see if I just do that. Send both of these cavalry. Oh shit. Can make it back. Not this time, but they're, they're relatively safe there. And we can retrain everything else from here. Good, again, some seriously veteran archers right here. Yep, up the taxes. And soon, yeah, soon we'll have the Numidian Legionary. Now, what kind of, um... I think have they got there? Temple of Horus. I don't know if I should leave that there. I think I should destroy it. I know it doesn't give us a cultural penalty, but... If we were to build the Grand Temple of Baal, it would be worth 20%. Can't we get it to 25-25? I'm pretty sure we can, it just hasn't... I don't know. Maybe, well, maybe they don't have a Pantheon. I don't know. Alright, so what do we need here? We've got one, two, three, four. So we've got six archers. Yeah, so we're going to get our infantry from here. Orders? Move out. Out of moves, great lord. And we'll get our cavalry from here. We don't suffer the the culture penalty anymore because we've taken the, the pyramids of uh, Giza and we've got the, the wonder plus 15% so that certainly helps as well. Some paved roads would help us move around our forces. Now that we've got two recruitment areas here, the Egyptians, uh, their days are numbered. Now over here. We should get these guys over here, just in case the Scipio make, want to make an attack. Oh, I didn't retrain the peasants, who cares about them? So. Loads of heavy cavalry here. So let's... no, no, no. Yeah, get a few more of these. I don't really want any more Numidian cavalry, because I'd much prefer the long shield cavalry. Oh, they actually have good morale. I don't know, I don't think Namidia is as trashy as what people think they are. This isn't this hasn't been that hard. I mean the, the worst thing that's happened to me is it's a glitch. That's it. So yeah, leave that like that. I could probably use more no no it's going to take more ships, but we can ferry between this, these two places pretty easily. Um, time to get... Hmm. Now I think... Should we get four loads of archers or six? I think six. We're a missile faction, and these are reasonably good archers. After we've got that, we'll, um, we'll work on getting the long shield cavalry. That's nothing to be concerned about. Can't they just pretty much done for for the time being? They're probably still here. 
but I'm not worrying about that. Now it's time to take on the richer settlements of the Skippy Eye. All right, I got heaps of cash, more than enough, I think, to purchase something in every settlement. So, Dimity, what do we need? It's to grow you. Some people will probably be like, why not build the roads? It's good for trade. There's not enough population here to make it worth it right now. We've got to get the population up. So build our infrastructure that way first. It doesn't have anything to trade anyway. It's like, look, hey, you want to trade? I got, I got sand, I got dirt. You want some dirt? No thanks. You keep your fucking dirt. Take your road and you build it somewhere else. Okay, uh, Carthage, what do we need here? Well, we can start building a blacksmith to upgrade our cavalry. But I think I'd prefer to increase our money, because, um, although we made a lot of money from, you know, exterminating, um, Memphis, that money's not going to last us that long. We've got to keep building up our infrastructure, especially if we're going to get better troops and more of them. Thapsus. Yeah, better up interest infrastructure. See, that, those are places where it is good to trade between. Lily Boyum probably needs. Okay, actually, we'll build a practice range here, right? And that way, we'll f won't build these here. But we'll start getting the long shield cavalry. So we need to get the archers from here instead. Can't build anything there. It'll be a long time before. Actually, should I? See, the difference between this is about 200. Yeah, keep it on low taxes. I mean, it, there's, a, there's a big difference in um, in its, its, its uh, growth rate. Okay, so that's that. All good. Okay, so we're at an hour and a half. I didn't even realize um, the time. So we'll end the episode here. So I'm certainly having a lot of fun, I guess. It's Rome Total War, how can you not have fun, even when you play the trash faction like this. Um, what have we taken so far on this turn? It took three... No, one... Two, three regions. Pretty good. Probably could have done more with if I didn't have that uh, fucking glitch, but that's fine. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe. Part three is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.